It's now or never, Admiral. We're going in. Acknowledge. I'll send the word. All ships, this is Admiral Hackett. The Crucible is on the move. I repeat, the Crucible is on the move. Protect it at all costs. Everyone, this is it. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the vehicle. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. I'm honored to be part of your team. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Don't argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens, you mean everything to me, Liara. You always will. Shepard, I...
We've got reports that someone made it to the Citadel. We need to give them time to get those arms open. All fleets converge on the Crucible, protected at all costs. Up here too. I followed you up, but we didn't come out in the same place. No, at least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? <clears throat> you okay? I feel like death, but I'm moving. dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. <sighs> Makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? <laughs> sure. They round them up on Earth and send the people up here to be processed. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson? Anderson! the means to survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Why waste your time with us if you can control the Reapers? Because I need you. When humanity discovered the mass relay, 
galaxies, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined. There were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Uh, only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them. Or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. Maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision. No. No. It's not that simple. Isn't it? You're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. And then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? Then open the arms, let the Crucible talk, and use it to end this. I... I will. Do it! I know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You, you'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. You're weak and you're selfish. Because of you, humanity will suffer. No! I... I saved humanity! No! You sacrificed us for your own selfish wants, your lust for control! No! No! You were supposed to protect us! And you failed. No! I am the savior of humanity! I am the pinnacle of our... I wish you could see it like I do, Shepard. It's so uh, perfect. This is it, everyone. The alarms are opening.
Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Shepard? Commander? I, uh... What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard! I don't see. I'm not sure how to... Why are you here? What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? The Reapers are mine. I control them. They are my solution. The solution to what? Chaos. You bring it on yourselves. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without, Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but... What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. 
I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI. In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. <laughs> the Reapers. Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expected. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it, to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You don't need hope. The fact that you are standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? That depends on you. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new... 
possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can? You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved. But your thoughts, and even your memories, will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. You must release the energy of the Crucible to end the cycle. The paths are open, but you have to choose.
The war is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child, every civilization, on every world. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future.
Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. <laughs>